Hello, hello. I swear, YouTube Live on mobile is the most hard, it, it's the most frustrating thing ever. It's like it never, it never works properly. It always, I have to like restart it three times. Birdie, come here, say hi to everybody. Say hi. It's like I start it and then something happens. Like I hear audio feedback coming through the YouTube app or <laughs> uh, whatever. Um, what's up everyone? Brody, you wanna say hi? Where's Luna? There's Luna. Brody's right here. Oh wait, let me turn the stars on. One second. Which dog do I love more? I love them equally, but I love them differently. Different dogs. They're very different. They act different. Their personality is different. And they want to be loved different. I know how to love them each their own way. Luna doesn't like doing what Brody does. And Brody doesn't like doing what Luna does. And, uh, you know, so you got you to gotta adjust to your dog's needs. Brody, come say hi, please. Come say hi. We have to brush Brody. We have a lot to do. Yo, yo is in the building. How we doing, yo? Um, we got a lot. We got a lot to discuss. We have a lot to, uh, to do. Um, it's the dog from Fortnite. What are you, Fortnite? The back bling? There's like a, there used to be a back bling where you could put a dog in a backpack. Um, alright. Did Brody ever get treats for being famous? Brody gets a lot for being, for, for being loved. Um, all right, you do our Luna and Brody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have to brush Brody. We have to uh, get him ready. He's going to South by Southwest. Brody's F1 standard, yeah. He's going to South by Southwest. Uh, we're going to a, the Porsche Transformers collab event at South by Southwest. And then we're going straight from South by Southwest, which is held in Austin, Texas, to LA. And we're gonna be in LA to the 15th or the 16th. We're gonna go to Universal Studios. We're gonna go do Access Hollywood. You wanna do Access Hollywood? You wanna meet Mario Lopez? Brody's gonna meet Mario Lopez, Access Hollywood. Um, and so we'll be in LA for a little bit. And then we have Global Pet Expo in Orlando. If any of these places are somewhere where you're at, you can come by, you can meet Brody, you can say hello. Um, I heard that Universal Studios has the new Mario Land in LA, so really excited about that. Get a, uh, Brody a little Mario hat, right? Mm -hmm. Or you want to be Yoshi? I'll be Mario, and we can like, um, and then we're gonna be in Aspen in June. Vale, GoPro Mountain Games in June. Um, all right, let's brush this this lad. Brody's gonna turn four next month. Luna just turned six this week. Luna is right here. Come here, come here. Let's brush you. Guys, I have to pay attention. He needs to be brushed. And um, when I'm doing these live comment Q and A's, I can never read properly. Like I'm always, I mean, I can never brush properly because I'm always reading. See, I can't even speak properly because I'm reading. You live in Delray Beach. Um, dang, that went by too fast. But we're always on Atlantic. This is Brody's secret formula coming soon. The Brody juice. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know what the name's gonna be, but any suggestions for names? Um, where did you get Brody? She created Brody. See, I'm wasting all this product, breeding, spraying the exact same places that I already sprayed. So look, this is what you guys don't see. Yeah, Brody Juice might not be the name. So I just took Brody for a run. Can you see? Like, so he runs through like the weeds and stuff. It's not even weeds. It's just like uncut grass and See like that green stuff? That happens every time, guys. That's like, this is the stuff you don't know about maintaining a coat like this. So this happens, and now what? Now we gotta brush Brody. So we have to brush him all the time. Brody juice. Brody juice has a good ring to it. It's kind of growing on me. Brody that juice, I like that. You know I tried to copyright? So I, I hired lawyers to copyright um, Brody Beauty. I couldn't get Brody Beauty. They wouldn't let me copy it. Brody brush. My last name is Brush. His full name is Brody Brush. They wouldn't let me, I can't copy, or I can't trademark Brody Brush, which is his name. I'm like, he is Brody Brush. How can I not own that name? And they were like, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Too generic, too generic. Because someone else owns Brody Bowl, 
I don't want to talk about it. But um, anyways, we're gonna be coming out. With, it's, I think it has to be like Brody, that dude, something. Come here, Bubba. Let's try this brush you up. Um, Brody's F1 standard golden doodle. Um. Oh, and also, we're gonna have next week a fun live with the CEO Russell. My friend and also the CEO of Spot and Tango. As you guys know, we're partnered with Spot and Tango. Um, we're going to do a tournament bracket. Bracket style tournament. Um, so thank you for the super chat. Um, you love your chat. Thank you, Ian. I appreciate it. Um, so we're going to have a, a bracket style tournament where Brody's going to pick the, the tournament winners. And, for every, and we're going to ask me questions too. So every question I get right... It's like a 10% off on Spot and Tango. And like, I think it can go all the way to like 60 or 70 or 70, 80% if I get all the questions right. So I need everybody in like the chat to like be Googling while they ask me the questions and then we'll get them right. Um, and Brody's going to pick the winners of the tournament, like based off the mascots probably because he doesn't know anything about basketball. So he's just going to, whatever mascot looks like would be the most friendliest and fluffiest and, and would be Brody's friend is probably who, what team he's going to say wins. Guys, I've missed you. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Today, I was I was riding my bike. So every day I ride my bike, and it's the only time I disconnect from like the internet and stuff. It's I ride I I ride my bike and I tie or I hold the leash for Brody. So we do a run around the neighborhood, and then I do it for Luna. And it's the only time during the day that I really get away and like kind of disconnect because I'm scrolling all the time. And like I say, it's my job. I need to. Jana, thank you so much for the super chat. We appreciate it. Has Brody ever been in the snow? Many times. If you haven't seen our, our newest video, our newest video is the Montana snow vlog. So go check out our newest long form video. It's not new. It's like a couple of months old, but it's, um, it's, uh, it's him in the snow. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, he's been in Aspen snow. He's been in Montana snow. He's been in Oregon snow. He's been in Idaho snow. He's been in Washington snow. He's been in New York snow. He's, come on, North Carolina snow. Where else have you, the, the lad is a traveled lad. He has been around the world, seen all the places, played in the snow. Best believe he reads faces. All right, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah, so I ride my bike, whatever, blah, blah. And I was just thinking, and I was like, dang, man, I haven't been live on YouTube in a really long time. And I missed you guys because I say this all the time and it's not like I just say it here. I say it even on the other platforms. I always say like, I like YouTube the best. I'm not even like shy about it. I used to be shy about it. Like I didn't want to admit to the Instagram people. Like you guys are cool, but uh, YouTube is where it's at. And especially TikTok or clock app people. But YouTube is just, it's the best community. I like you guys the most, not even joking. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just different. We're just, is everyone's just nicer. I think everyone's just more positive. I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Um, what's his favorite habit? Um, giving me a hug. See, so what I'm doing, I'm watching the chat and I'm not brushing. Vernell, thank you for the super chat. Uh, when is Brody's birthday? April 9th. I don't know why I drew a blank. April 9th. And he's gonna be four April, in this April. All right, we got to have lunch. Take a look. This is why I brushed out so far. See this? This is what happens when he goes for a run almost every time. It's just like you, when you have this long hair, you can't, you can't prevent that. All right. Can we come to North Carolina? Fun fact about North Carolina. Last time I was in North Carolina, we were running out of gas. 3 a.m. on the highway. We pull over. Fayetteville, North Carolina. If you know Fayetteville, you probably know where this is going. Right off the highway, 3 a.m. Pull up, nobody's there. I pull in, um, me, my old cameraman, and Brody. And out of nowhere, a car. And mind you, this is 3 a.m., so it was like it was kind of fishy. So 3 a.m., a car pulls up next to us to get gas right next to us. I'm like, that's kind of weird. I don't know. Another car comes out right in front of us, pulls up in the pump right in front of us. So like now we're kind of blocked in. And I was like, um, all right, all right. We're not, I'm not sure about this. My old cameraman went into the gas station and I was there by myself. The dude walked over to me that was sitting next to me and started to make conversation at 3 a.m. 
sketchy, sketchy character. I was like, all right, we know, I know how this goes. I know what we're doing here. Um, uh, yeah. So he started like just trying to like chop it up with me, just trying to talk, just like being too friendly for 3 a.m. in the middle of a gas station, blah, blah, blah. I was like, this is like a setup. I knew it. Um, and I rolled down the window, the back one. He didn't see Brody was with me, but I'm sitting there waiting for, waiting for my old cameraman. He's in, he's, he's at the bathroom inside the gas station. And as soon as he comes out, um, there's actually more to the story, which I don't really want to talk about, but, um, long story short, roll down the window, the back window, Brody jumps out like this with his arm out, hanging and banging. You know how he does. And, uh, the dude that was kind of pressing me, like coming too close and his boy was over there. They're starting to walk over, um, jump back. He was like, yo, you got a bear. And I was like, yeah, yeah. He's, I was like, don't get too close. He, sometimes he bites. Um, and it diffused the situation. The dude backed up. He was afraid of dogs. Uh, and he was afraid of this giant creature. Little did he know that Brody just wanted to give him a little kiss. Um, but yeah, that was my last North Carolina story. I should make a uh, dog clothes merch. Um, it's complicated. The merch thing is complicated. It's complicated these days. We're working on things. We're working on everything. We're working on everything, guys. Has Brody ever been in New York? Many times. We're going to go probably Christmas time again this year. His brother ever ran away. <laughs> but he ever ran away? Nah. Luna would be more likely to run away than Brody, but neither of them would want to run away, I don't think. Arizona? I like Arizona. We were in Sedona, working on a Sedona video. I documented my entire trip through Sedona. I took Brody and Luna in an off-road vehicle in the middle of Sedona. We got lost. We had no signal. We were flying drones. Um, it's going to be a fun video. But guys, I am so bad at editing long-form YouTube videos. I get so bored. Like I'm so, my, my brain is so chipmunk oriented because I'm so used to, um, Blossom, thank you for the super chat. Sorry I missed it. Is there a way I could like see super chat so I don't miss them? Oh yeah, hold on, let me see. Um, dang, no there's not. I can't see old super chats. Um, yeah, so, what was I saying? Oh yeah, as you can see, uh, squirrel brain. Squirrel brain. I can't sit there and watch an hour and a half, two and a half hours worth of long footage and edit it. So I'm working on the Sedona video. I actually have my other editor working on the Sedona video. He ain't that good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. After the last video, I'm embarrassed. If you go back to the old, if you go back to my last YouTube video, there's a lot of typos. There's a lot of typos and they're not good typos. Like they're not like negligent typos. They're typos that make me look like I don't know how to spell. So I was very embarrassed about that. I told him bad, bad editor but he's still my boy, so he's still working. Um, so Sedona, and then we went to the Miami Heat game. I had that whole entire thing documented, and um, I just have to post it. I have to finish it. I have it edited down to like 40-something minutes, but 40-something minutes is going to be really boring. So I have to get it down to like 10 minutes. Has Brody been in Florida? Where do you think we are right now? Hey, Boca Raton, stand up. Brody's going to be four next month. See, this is bad, guys. This is how you don't brush a dog. You watch the chat. Brody sits here and doesn't get brushed properly. I would have been like halfway done. And then all the spray kind of dries up. Um, do I plan on breeding Brody? I don't really plan on it. Um, if the right, I see breeding doodles is tricky and I know that. Doodle genetics is not easily, um, they're not easily, it's not easy, an easy thing to bred, breed. It's probably one of the hardest crossbreeds to properly, um, go about breeding. So I don't, I don't really plan on it unless there's the prop, unless there's an, a really well knowledgeable, like a breeder that approaches me and I would, I would breed him to a standard poodle probably just to keep consistent coats. Um, standard poodle, when you breed F1 to a standard poodle, you get best coats. Um, not the best. They're not as fluffy. They're curlier, but they're consistent. So a lot of factors, but he does have kids. He had, he had one litter. Um, Dang, yeah, this chat is moving fast. We're, we're turned up today. Man, I love YouTube, man. Fired up, man. I love YouTube. I feel, I feel guilty. Oh, this is the Brody brush, by the way. This is coming, this, this, it's not gonna be this color. We're doing, we're launching in green. And it's gonna say Brody, 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 Brody on the back. And it's gonna be the Brody brush. And his name is Brody brush. I mean, so it's a double entendre. I missed super chats again, I think. But you can see how fast the chat is going. So please don't be mad. Um, Let me see. Katie, thank you so much. Will I ever get a third dog? No. You have three golden retrievers? I can't do it. Two dogs is my max max. Um, I can't do a third dog. I'm going to be honest. I can't do a third dog. 
I'll probably have a kid before I have a third dog. And I don't even have a girlfriend. So that's how far away I am from ever getting a third dog. Um, Sarah, thank you for the, for the super chat. Will Brody be going to VidCon? Not confirmed yet. 99% sure yes, though. I have a ticket. I have like a creator ticket. So he, we will be at VidCon if all things go to plan in August. Um, but not 100% confirmed yet, but pretty much confirmed. Um, damn, okay, so I can click on it up top. Blossom. Thank you so much for the super chat. I don't think you left a message. You just, you just showed some support. Love you. Thank you. Um, can you come to Long Island? I got family in Long Island. They want me out there. Are we going to Long Island, Brody? We're going to go to the city. We're going to the city during Christmas time, though, when I get festive. Man, I love Christmas. Dang, I miss Christmas. Miss Christmas, buddy? We're not even at summer yet. It's all right. Christmas is going to be here in no time. Um, that's our favorite. But that's when we go to, that's when we mess with New York. Um... Um, dang guys, you, the chat is, 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 is bumping today. Um, I can't, I can't read it. It's going too fast. Uh, okay. Um, come to Orlando. We're going to be in Orlando. I don't know if it's in Orlando or Canada, but we're going to come to Orlando in the end of March or March 22nd, March 23rd, maybe March 21st. We're trying to get in with give the kids the world which is like a village that's sponsored by Make-A-Wish. And basically all these kids that are working with Make-A-Wish go to this little village and they get all their dreams to come true. They go to Disney, um, they go to the parks and they do a bunch of other stuff. And we really want to get Brody in there and I think we're gonna get him in there. So the 21st, we'll be doing that probably, hopefully. And then the 22nd, 23rd, we we'll be at Global Pet Expo. If you're there, come say hi. I don't know how it works. I don't know if it's even open to the public, but come say hi, give Brody a hug. Um, This is not how you brush Brody. This is not how you brush Brody. We're not. I'll be in Vegas late April, I believe. I saw someone say late April. I think we're gonna be in Vegas late April. Also guys, I'm still just getting a perfect test. So this is one of my favorite brushes on the market. Very good, extremely expensive. We're talking 80 to $100. Um, very good brush. This is my brush. And I just go back and forth testing it because I want to see the quality. I want to see if it's holding up to the same standards I hold the other one to. Uh, your dog passed in January, so seeing Brody puts a smile on your face. Because remember, that makes me very happy to hear. I'm so sorry for your loss, but I'm glad that we can help you um, kind of, you know, not forget it, but take your mind off it and bring a little bit of joy. Um, you know, we get a lot of messages like that, and I always appreciate that. Kathy, um, how did Brody get so big? <laughs> How'd you get so big? Look at this munchkin. All right, the fun fact, this is called a mini golden retriever. I'm just kidding. She's not a mini golden retriever, but she just is so small. Back up. Um, I told the breeder, I want a really dark and big golden retriever. And she gave me really dark, but I think I got the run. I think Luna was the, the pesky little runt. And Brody's dad is not even that big. Brody's dad is 60 pounds. Luna's 60 pounds. Brody's a behemoth, genetic freak, way bigger. His head was twice the size of all the other puppies in the litter. Come here, buddy. Let's go. We're not even close to being finished brushing you. Come on, Bubba. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. We got a lot of traveling to do, guys. We got a lot of traveling coming up. And they booked me terrible. They booked me... For the event, they booked me going from Florida to Charlotte, North Carolina, to Austin. And then when I'm leaving Austin, I'm going to Austin, to San Antonio, or El Paso. And then from there to LAX, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. I saw something about my mom, or a mom, or your mom, or I don't know, someone's mom. Um, thank you. I'm picking my mom up from the airport tomorrow. She's going to be at home watching Luna this entire time. Uh, Blue Olives. You love your channel. Um... How old and how heavy is Brody? Brody is going to be four months or four years old in like a month. So he's almost four and he's about 80 pounds. But you're a good 80, buddy. You're a solid, solid, sturdy, strong 80, right? The lad is heavy. He's getting heavier. But some people think he's like 120 pounds. Everybody I meet in person, we've only heard one time out of the hundreds of people we've met. We've only heard one time Brody is smaller than I expected. Every other person says Brody is much bigger than I expected. 
which kind of surprised me because I kind of think he looks big in, pic in videos, but I know how big I am so I can see the reference. But I feel like people don't understand that I'm also like, I'm tall, I'm like 6'2", and I'm, you know, hey, not the brag, I am kind of, kind of, we're kind of big, hey, we're kind of big, so, so I feel like people don't understand that, and so they see Brody, and they think, oh, he's not that big, but then you put him next to, like, just normal-sized people, and Brody's a large lad. Sorry, I had to flex, but that didn't look good when I flexed, alright, that one's better. Um, sorry, bad, bad, me, uh, I have to be likable. I gotta be likable. Be likable. Be likable. Be likable. Um, sometimes it comes out. Uh, Brody's favorite goggles. You see all those goggles right there? Um, I'll show you his favorite goggles. I can show you his favorite goggles. Here. Come along. Come along to the goggle. Come along to the goggle. Oh, I can s I've never switched the camera around. Look at this. This is the first time for everything. All right. Hey. All right, Brody's favorite goggles. None of those. Um, those are for the puppies. Unreleased video of all the puppies wearing goggles. Never posted it because they looked like they were having a miserable time. Um, these are Brody's favorite goggles because these are the prototypes. Plus one pet gear, Brody's brand, and they have um, magnetic. I can't do it with one hand. These are magnetic. They come off. I can't do it with one hand. Um, these are his favorite goggles. Right, buddy? Your favorite? Um, guys, go subscribe if you're not subscribed. Get this number up. So this thing seems so cool to me. This is a live YouTube counter, and it's supposed to go up. Every time you get one subscriber, it goes up. But once you get past a million, so we're at 3.84 million. Once you get past a million, it doesn't do the last digits, um, unfortunately. So it's not as cool anymore. But if you have under a million, it's kind of cool. Um, but good problems to have. Every morning, you know we drink a Celsius. That's crazy. That's crazy. Who wants a case of Celsius? Hit me up. I'll send you guys a case of Celsius. They send me cases faster than I drink them. All right, we're get, getting distracted. All right, can you show Brody again, please? Brody is the main character of this stream, so you will be seeing lots of Brody. Don't you worry. Ugh. Okay. The people want you to come to Canada. Hello, Dan. <laughs> um, <clears throat> not against it. I'm down for Canada, guys. I'm down. You down for Canada? I'll do Toronto. I would, if I could do Canada perfectly, the way I'd want to do it is Quebec City, Christmas time, bang. I'm there. Just get your guys' international travel rules and stuff right. Like, I don't know. Like, are you still allowed? Do you guys, like, you know... We doing masks? What are we doing over there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I like it over here a little bit, but I'm, I'm down. I'm down to come to Canada. International, number one on the list. I've said this a million times, and I feel like I'm talking like, like, guys, when I say something, I make it happen. So I know I'm saying it a lot, and I know it sounds like I'm just talking, but guys, when I say it, I make it happen. Um, Tokyo, going to make it happen. Just watch, just watch. Or Italy. Italy is so much easier to make happen. I can make that happen tomorrow if I wanted to. Even though flights, first class flights to Italy were $10,000. So that's crazy. And Brody kind of needs to fly first class on a 14 hour flight. He can't fit. So I want to make Italy happen, but I'm not going to go solo. So that means I'm going to fly a camera person out there with me. 20,000 per flight is, is crazy. So I talked to a private jet company that carries animals or, car or carries pet parents that want to travel with their dogs. And I don't have to use that, but I think I want to use it because it'll be like cheaper. And also, you know, I mean, yeah, it's just gonna be cheaper. That's why I wanna do it. Um, it's gonna be a bunch of dogs. It'll be all dogs too. I just spit everywhere, I'm sorry. Um, what a dog doing? Korea, I'm not against Korea. I, I could vibe out in Korea. Um, but Tokyo is definitely number one if we're going Asia. Dubai, Dubai could be fun. Dubai could be fun. I could do Dubai. I'll, I'll say that, I'll put that third. If we do it right, if we got something set up out there, if we got some like connections, like, you know, I don't wanna, like I would love to be me and Brody in the head garment. You know, I look, everyone says I'm, they think I'm Persian or Middle Eastern, so I'm not, I'm Italian, but I'd get that a lot. And for one Halloween, me and um, 
a couple Persian friends dressed up as as uh, sheiks, and I sure looked like I am from Dubai. I am from the Middle East. It sure, I'd fool you. Um, Portland, not gonna lie, we did a drive by on Portland. We just we made a game time decision. I went up to Oregon, went to Bend, Oregon. Beautiful, loved it, amazing. Did a drive by in Portland. And we said, you know what? I don't know if this city's for Brody. It's, it's a little, uh, maybe it was just the area that we were in, but we were just coming from LA too. And I was like so over the city life. And so I was in Bend, Oregon. The grass was hitting, it was smelling so good. I was like, this is nature, this is fresh. This is, I love the air out here, it's amazing. And then I was like, I can't do the city. I can't do the, I can't do the dirty streets. I can't do the, you know, dangerous, sketchy situations walking with Brody. I was just trying to avoid that stuff. So that's why I called off New York City. I was gonna go to New York after, but after LA, I was just like, nah, we gotta take a break. But we're recharged, we're ready for the city again. We're ready for the big city life. So like I said, we're gonna be in Austin, then we're going to LA in this week. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jake. Does Brody get jealous when other dogs are giving you attention? Yes. Yes, yes. This is one of the things I haven't caught on video perfectly. Um, every morning, and so this is why it's hard to film, because it usually happens in the morning. Every morning, Luna jumps on the bed, or she's not already on the bed, and she'll try to wake me up because she wants to eat, not because she loves me. I'm just kidding, Luna. You do love me, but the reason you're trying to wake me up is because you want to eat. So she stands on top of me, and she cries, blah, blah, blah. Brody, as soon as Brody hears that she's up, he runs from the hallway, which she's usually sleeping at, in the morning for the cold towel on the floor. Books, body checks her, lays on top of me like a frog like this and boxes her out and then just licks my face just so he can get all the attention. He's such a little jealous boy. When new guests come over, like if my dad comes over or if new people come over and Luna tries to say hello to them, he, bu he bullies her, he boxes her out. He says, he tries to get all the attention for himself. He's a little jealous boy. Tell him, Brody, tell him. Tell him, tell him how jealous you are. You're a little jealous boy. Um, Costa Rica, <clears throat> I don't, I don't, mm, I don't know. That one might be hard. We're going, we're planning on Puerto Rico. We are planning on, it's not official yet, but what I've been hearing through the grapevine is August, I think it's 20 something during National Dog Day. They want Brody out in Puerto Rico, bad bunny baby. Um, so we might be out there. We might be out there. If you're in Puerto Rico, keep your eye out. Where are your neighbor? I missed that, sorry. I had to check what was fast. Um, Kami, Kami Tomek, does Brody, does Brody like, dang guys, the chat is going so fast, I can't read it. Uh, burgers, burgers? Yes, he loves burgers. Um, any any beef, any red meat, the lad is, is it's like a primal instinct that kicks in on him. Like, he's like, I didn't know that this thing exists. My ancestors have been eating this for, for centuries. And like, it's just, I need this. I want this steak. I want this beef. And like, it just, it just clicks. Like he like, he's like enlightened. Like he's like escaping the matrix. He's like, mm, I need this. I need this. It's really, it's actually crazy to watch, but he loves beef jerky also. He's not as crazy with the beef jerky, but once it goes to like a nice piece of burger or something, the lad is on one. Spot and tangle is good, but yeah, I like the spot and tangle, but guys, <laughs> this burger tastes a little, it's a little different. It's getting a little different. <laughs> exactly. Chicken, yeah. Luna's a big chicken girl. Uh, she's, <coughs> she's a chicken lassie. Um, I always call him lad and her lassie. Um, come to Indiana. Have we been to Indiana? I think it's one of the few states we haven't been to. Have we been to Indiana, buddy? Indiana? I don't think so. It would have been a drive through if we were, so no, nah, we haven't been to Indiana. We've been to like 30 plus states. 30, between 30 to 40 states we've been. You'd love to see Brody in Charlotte. Have you, Brody's been to Charlotte, but not like hanging out too much. More of just like overnight staying there than next morning heading to New York. Um, 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 um. Okay, let's focus on brushing. Dang, someone else sent a super chat, so I gotta read it. Uh, foodie with a dog, what's up? I like the I like that concept of an account. Uh, Brody, guys, I'm trying to scroll against the chat, and it's just going so fast. Uh, Brody, come to South Padre. I 
can't read. This is going fast. South Padre Island. Where's that? I don't know where that is. It's an island? South Padre Island. If you had to guess, where's South Padre Island? South Padre Island. You know, Padre, you automatically think Texas. I feel like everything, there's like 20 Padres in, in Texas, but it's an island. So, please tell Brody that one of his fans is crushing on his dad, Yo, Costa. Dang, Brody, someone got a crush on me? Thank you, Costa. I appreciate it. Christina, does Brody ever get motion sickness on plane or car? Great question. Um, thank you for the super chat. And almost never, almost never. There's one instance, which I have on camera and I haven't posted. There's one, Luna gets sick in every single vehicle, boat, car, plane. You, she's never been a plane, so I made that up, but I'm assuming it'd be a plane she gets sick to. Four wheeler, motorcycle, bike, anything, she gets sick. So she doesn't like to, to travel. Brody doesn't, can go anywhere, doesn't ever get sick. Except one time we were on a plane, um, there's a lot of turbulence. So I put him on my lap, because I'll, I'll say it's for him, but it was for me. Um, I'm just kidding, I'm not scared, hey, I'm not scared, but I hate turbulence. I'm not gonna lie, guys. The only thing in this world that scares me is, I'm not scared, the only thing that bothers me is turbulence. You're just so helpless, you're in the air. Yeah, I know, I hear, yeah, it doesn't blah, 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 whatever, but it's scary. Um, whatever, he was sitting on my lap, there's a little turbulence. The people behind were Brody fans, I didn't even know that, and they were, so they were filming him, and they were like saying his name, blah, blah, blah. Um, he was sticking his head through the seats, and then he threw up, but he didn't throw up immediately. He started like <clears throat> heaving, dry heaving. So I had this all on video. So I grab, a, I grab a barf bag, and I put it to his mouth, and he throws up in the barf bag. And I had the whole thing on video, um, but I never posted it because, I don't know, if I post things of, of you know, things of him being sick or, you know, whatever, people get uptight about it. Best training advice, you just got a new puppy, crate train, 100% crate train, you need to crate train your dog. Um, I crate trained both Luna and Brody. Once I got to Brody, I knew how to crate train a little better, so it was, I started off in a crate. You, okay, so the idea is, what you wanna do, you wanna create a crate, a uh, safe space, a crate, it's gonna become their den, their canines, it's their wolves, it's in their blood. They want a den safe space so you can make it a fun place for them. It's not some like punishment place. So you put their food bowl in there at times, you feed them in their crate, you give them toys, enrichment toys in the, in the crate. You start off with a divider if it's a big crate and you wanna grow them into it. You wanna make it so they can only do a 360 so they don't have too much space to roam around because that's what's gonna prevent them from um, using the restroom in the crate. Dogs do not, they instinctually do not like to sit in their own uh, pee or feces, so they, you, have to, you have to make it so there's not enough space for them to go potty and then walk to the other side of the crate and sit down, because then it's just gonna, it's not, it's not gonna, it's gonna perpetuate them from doing everything in the crate. If it's too small of a space, it could look like, oh, that's kind of messed up, you're giving them a small space. No, it's teaching them to hold their bladder for long periods of time, because they don't want to sit in their pee. So um, you do that, and as you grow, you grow the crate, eventually you can grow the, and what I did with Brody was, I grew his crate space. I gave him a pen, a small little pen with a bed in it, and then we grew the pen, and then I used the pen to block off half the house. This is a lot of information, I know. And then, um, and then we slowly introduced him to the whole house. He didn't, couldn't have access because the first few square feet of the house, you would bite the baseboards, wouldn't you? You bit the baseboards. Every single baseboard in my house, he would bite. Um, so then I sprayed citrus spray over that, that fixed that, but slowly introduced him to the whole house and gave him access rights, privilege, over time. Um, I hope that helps. That is the number one training tip is crate train, crate train, crate train. Ah, why isn't it my super chat? I can't click it. Thank you, someone. No, oh, there. Overlord of Cubes for Brody Treats. Man, I appreciate that. Thank you. But I'm gonna be honest with you. We're gonna use it for something else. What do you wanna use it for? Listen, guys, I got a lot of treats. Maybe, here's what I'll use it for. It's the Brody Treats, beef jerky. We're gonna get beef jerky. In the airport tomorrow, we always get beef jerky. Overlord of Cubes, thank you. That's gonna buy us our beef jerky. Um, and those are like real treats. Cause like the dog treat stuff, guys, we have. We have so much dog treats. I can show you, like it is, it is actually a problem. Um, just from brands sending us treats, this, and like we just, over the last three years, they've gotten so many treats. And it's like, Brody's a sensitive stomach, so I don't like messing with his diet too much, so. But the beef jerky, 
and you know, twenty dollars is one bag of beef jerky these days. They're taxing. But thank you, man. Thank you. Um. So you buy a crate, then what? You buy a crate, you put the dog in. Dang, Diane, I just explained it for twenty minutes. You're gonna make me say it again. You heard the, you heard the strategy. You buy the crate, you put them in, you slowly expand it, you let them grow with the crate so they don't pee on themselves, which is what technically they'd be doing. And it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for a couple months, maybe, um, maybe three months. But eventually they're gonna stop and they're gonna learn to hold their bladder and it's all gonna be good, baby. It's all gonna be good. Um, give them excess treats. Uh, give the excess treats to the animal shelter. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. I have a relationship with Broward County Humane Society. Sorry, not Humane Society. Broward County Adoption Center. I forget the technical, the legal term. Uh, animal Center of Broward County, whatever it's called. The one I did a video with. Um, so I got toys and I got treats from them. Man, bone, please. We are not brushing well, but you know, I've just been I've been very involved with the chat today. So, um, man bun. Guys, I need someone in my life. Dang, I saw something about South Padre. I finally could have got that answer. Oh, South Padre Island is in Texas, is owned by dang. It's owned by I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna say it's owned by Texas. I'm gonna assume that's what it, which is a crazy thing. I've never heard of a state owning a territory, but I'll assume that that's what it said. Um I mean, unless it's part of Texas, which makes sense. Um, how old are you guys? Brody is. All right, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you guys. Also, I cut my nose. It's not a booger. Um, uh, Brody is in human years. Next month he will be 28. In dog years, I am. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. I. I have an accounting degree also, just so you know, and I'm still using the calculator, embarrassing. I'm four and a half, I'm four and a half in dog years. He's 28 in human years, do the math. That's how I'm gonna give you guys these answers now. Um, um, he's about 80 pounds. Man bun, man bun, man bun, man bun. I have to brush his hair. All right, we're gonna brush the top of his hair. So this is what we call, um, we call this uh, the Miami nightclub. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Brody brush right now, you can see lumped together, frayed, can't see. We're gonna, I wish I could do a really cool, my groomer, yo, he can do like spin all the brushes in his fingers, spin the scissors. Um, Blue Olives, did someone make a reference of Brody's hairstyle with ex-US president? That, that reference is made quite often. Here, I'll give it just for you. All right, I'm not doing it very well. All right, you get the point. Something like that, yeah? I don't know. Like that? I don't know. Um, all right, let's slick it back. Who's Brody's dad? Me. You mean the biological dad? Um, it's a red standard poodle named Rusty. Um, he lives in Fort Lauderdale. He's a good little lad, timid little lad. Brody gets his personality mostly from Rusty, is I'm guessing. All right, so now we're, we're fluffed out. We got a good thing going here. Let's get a better angle. A little tilt. All right. We're not yet a bang. Just, you know, ASMR. Can we come to Mexico City? Um, not against it. If we get an event or something there, I'm down. We're down a ride in Mexico. Hola, hola, what's up, what's up? Just in time, we're talking about Mexico. Um, okay, so here, now we'll put it in. Also, guys, also, also, another fun thing we're coming out with. We are coming out, not this, this is just from CVS, but we're coming out with Brody Bun Hair Ties. Brody, I don't know the name, what's, what should be the name? Brody, Bro Bun, well, something. We're coming out with hair ties that are gonna be half this diameter, so, you know, I have to fold this probably four or five times. We're gonna have hair ties that you pretty much just have to fold twice maybe. Um, so, more accommodating for, for canine uh, luscious locks. Bro tie, bro bun ties. And I'm pushing my design team. I want Luna to have her own line of bows. Um, wouldn't that be cute? Like bows for Luna, like, like that's her own little lane. And she hates wearing things, but it'll be fun. I'd love for her to model for you guys. Arkansas. We drove through Arkansas 
I don't know if we're gonna be visiting anytime soon unless there's like some event. I don't know. We're down for anywhere, guys, if, if that's where the world takes us. Your Golden Dude likes wearing headbands and hats. He also wears his hair in man buns. And your name is Ah OK. Ah OK. All right, thank you, Ah OK. And I love to hear. I love seeing dudes in, in uh, man buns and headbands and hats and. Uh, he has a. Uh, where's the hat? It's over there. We have everything. We can put anything on. Um, can you. Dang. Can you cook him a feast? I didn't see the rest. What are we gonna do for his? What are we gonna do for his birthday? Or his birthdays, you know, next month. Everyone loved Luna's birthday video. It did really well on, especially, the clock app. So this I'm using because it has a fragrance in it. Since this is a test formula, it still didn't add the fragrance in yet. So I'm using that for fragrance. Using this for the conditioning. They're shipping me. They just added the fragrance that I handpicked. And they're shipping it to me with the fragrance and the formula. We're gonna have the final product. Very excited. I want you guys to smell it too. Um, the options, I went, I went a little, I went a little strayed from the path of the normal dog room. Everyone, can you hit like? Everyone hit like. I don't know, you know, that's what the YouTubers say. I never asked for it. Can you guys hit like? We're at 779. What happens if everybody hits like? We have 779 people in here right now. We have 600, or sorry, we have 667 people and 779 likes. If everybody hits like, what happens? 800 likes, there you go. Let's pop those numbers, pop those numbers. I don't know what it does, but I think it's good for the algorithm. And I always hear big YouTubers saying it, so please do it. Thank you, appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. Um, I think we just got another super chat. Um, maybe not. Um, come to the Philippines. I think we got a big presence in the Philippines. I get DMs. Every night, well, it's always like 3 a.m. I get DMs from the Philippines and India. And I wake up in the morning and I got all my DMs are filled with, that's like when I get my, my India peeps and my, and my Filipino peeps. Um, that's when they hit me up. Boca Raton in the house. What's up? What's up? What's up? Boca Raton. Yes, we are Boca boys. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm missing Huntington Beach, though. Do you guys know who... Uh, should we keep it a surprise? I think we talked about it. We're gonna get a summer house, perhaps 99% sure we are. Um, I think we're aiming for July in Huntington Beach, headed back to Huntington Beach. Um, we just gotta figure out a few things, but Nala, Chris, the stomper herself, we're gonna link up hopefully out there, but still got a lot of things to, to figure out because my problem is how do I get Luna, this one, to Huntington Beach? I don't want to drive again, guys. I'm sick of driving. I do not want to drive to Huntington Beach again. I'm over the drive. I'm not going to lie. And it's not easy. With two dogs, it is, it is a lot of work. So I don't really want to do that. I can only fly a Brody. Luna can't fly. So yeah, that's my issue. I don't feel like driving. So I can do like a month and have my mom here, like three weeks to a month, and then just leave Luna with my mom, which I know you guys might be like, oh my God, that's so mean. Why would you ever do that? Um, guys, Luna would, I'm not being sarcastic. I'm not saying this hyperbolically, big word for you. Um, Luna would 100 out of 100 times prefer to be in Boca Raton, in her house, in her bed with her grandmother, who she loves probably more than me, making her scrambled eggs every single morning. My mom makes her scrambled eggs every single morning. Um, so she won't miss me, unfortunately, but... I'll miss her. That's more of what it's for. Um, suggested for Brody's birthday, guys. Yo, yo, coming through with ten dollars. Yo, I owe you ten or twenty dollars for that Uber for Ubering those um, uh, uh, cupcakes to us or cupcakes to you for coming through. What do you guys think of Yo's new hair? Have you guys? Have you guys? Okay, first of all, have you guys seen the new video Luna's birthday? It's not new. It was Luna's birthday last week, a few days ago. Yo came surprised on the beach. He fell. He face planted in the water. That was a hundred percent real. That we did not make that up. Um, did you guys see Brody? Uh, Brody's new hair. Yo's new hair. I, I told Yo he needs to dye it orange. Should he, should he go orange? Maybe we should do something where if like we post the video and if it gets like this many likes or something or this many views, he dyes it orange. I'm down. I, I'll do that because I got nothing to lose. But 
What about Brody's man bun orange? Huh? Do we dye Brody's hair? What do you think? It has to make an occasion. I don't want to just do it to do it. But there has to be an occasion to dye. I'll dye Brody's little floof with like temporary dye. Um, can Brody do tricks? Bro, can Brody do tricks? Have you seen this dog? Have you seen what this dog has accomplished and has done with his life? As a young lad, this man is, this man is three years old. Gonna be four. You see what the man has accomplished for himself? Look at those. Look at those tricks. Those are all tricks right there. Tricks, that's a trick. I mean, he could ride in a backpack chiller than anyone. He hangs, I didn't teach him this. He just hangs out the window with his arm all the way down to the floor pretty much. Just hanging and banging the coolest dude on the planet. That's a trick. It's just not a temporary, like who cares? Honestly, who cares about sit, stay, roll over? Like really, would that impress you guys? Would that get any views? Would, that, would you, like, come on. Luna does all that. No one cares about that. The real tricks, the real stuff is like, he could sit here. He's been standing. We've been live for like an hour. He's been standing like a patient, good little lad, getting brushed. We're talking about him. He just sits here and watches. You know how hard this is for dogs to do? That's a real trick. Yeah, think about it. Something to think about. Um, Luna, what's up, bro? Come to Toronto, let's collab. Um, you're coming to Tampa the first week of May. Down for a collab, man. Super down for a collab. Luna the mini cockapoo. Is it, cock is it a cockapoo? Are you, is Luna? Yeah, cockapoo. Um, dude, down. Weren't you getting married in Tampa or something? What were you doing out in Tampa? Um, but yeah, definitely down for a collab, man. You love Celsius? Me too. And I don't just say that because they're a sponsor. I say it because I was drinking it every single morning before. That's how I found my sponsors. It was like, okay, Brody needs to eat dog food every day. Which is the best dog food? Oh, I drink energy drinks every morning. What's the best energy drink? Literally how we figured it out. Um, can I bring Luna in? All right, let's say hi to Luna. We went way too long without saying hi to Luna. Luna, come here. Luna, come here. Come here. I have a treat. Oh, what's this? You want this? She's too smart. She knows I don't have a treat. The treats are in the kitchen. Oh, what's this, Luna? Ooh. What's this? She's a smart little lassie. Come on. Come here. I know you're sleeping. Wake up. Wake up. You will sub if I dance with Brody. You'll give me a sub if I dance with Brody. How about this? How about I show you Luna and you sub? How about that? That's about as equal. Here, I should give you a little. Put your hands in the air. This is Luna. This is Brody's mother. What's Brody's favorite scary movie? Thank you for the super chat. Dang, death, dark name. Um, no wonder you asked what Brody's favorite scary movie is. Brody's favorite scary movie is Brody is a big baby. He's afraid of a lot of things. So he's not watching scary movies too often. So I don't let him watch like real scary movies. I only let him watch like, um, like Casper, the friendly ghost and Scooby-Doo, things with dogs and cartoons. Cause the little lad gets nightmares. He gets nightmares. So I don't really let him watch too many scary movies to be honest with you. This one will watch scary movies all day. We were watching some like YouTube short film. I don't even know what it was called. You ever scroll through the clock app and it was like, and like, and it starts showing you a preview of like a freaky, like indie scary movie. And you're like, dang, let me go check this out. And then you go check it out and you wish you didn't. Yeah. I don't really like scary movies myself. I'm going to be, let's be real. Let's be real. I don't like. I saw The Grudge when I was like 10 years old, 11 years old, whenever it came out, literally was scarred for the rest of my life. Not the rest of my life, but like 10 years. I was like 20 and I was still thinking about the little girl on the top of the ceiling. Um, what is Luna's favorite thing? The beach. She loves the beach. She's a beach girl. That's her favorite thing. Brody, bro, we have to brush you more, man. We got to brush you more. Come here. Brody, come on, bubba. We got to brush you more, buddy. There you go. Come on in, buddy. Come on, come on. Thank you, subbed. <laughs> that, was, that was good enough for a sub. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you're not subbed, 
please sub. If you haven't hit the like button, please hit the like button. Do I know exactly what it does? No, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't know what that like button does right now in a live stream, but every big YouTuber says it, I trust them. And I know how these algorithms work. You gotta hit that like button and then it gets pushed to other people. And then you spread the Brody joy. So right now you got the Brody joy coming through your screen and it's all for you. And you're like, dang, this dog is really fun. He's really cute. And um, you know, he's spreading joy here. He's spreading joy there. He's spreading joy everywhere. But to make that happen even more, you press that like button and then boom, now someone who else is scrolling YouTube, I don't even know if this is how it works, but if someone else is scrolling YouTube then the live stream is shared with them, it's gonna be, you know, this is what people are liking right now. So it pops up on them and then, you know, and now you just help spread the Brody gospel across the nation. Um, oh dang, um, uh, 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 Chat too fast, chat's too fast. Can't read it when it goes that fast. Does Brody have a girlfriend? Brody, you got a girlfriend? Brody has a couple crushes. I'll tell you his two crushes. Brody Cole. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you his two crushes. Nala. Shout out Nala, Chris and Nala, like I mentioned. You've seen him in the Montana vlog. Brody was all about Nala. I'm afraid to leave Brody around with Nala. He likes her little stomper, stomping, stomping. So Nala and then Ellie. I don't know if you guys know Ellie, Golden Retriever Life. Brody, Brody likes Ellie. Ellie really wasn't feeling him as much, I'm gonna be honest with you. She was playing hard to get. So those are his two crushes. We're figuring it out. He's figuring it out. Right now he's solo dolo like his dad, single. Ellie and Nala, yeah, see, yeah, you guys know. Um, you guys have to vote. Can I do a poll? I can't do a poll. I tried. I asked this last time. Let's see. Ellie or Nala? All right. There's no poll option, at least on mobile. So what you guys got to do is one for Ellie, two for Nala. One's for Ellie, two for Nala. Golden Retriever Life or Adventuring with Nala? Who should Brody date? Who should Brody date? Because he's been on dates with both of them. I don't even remember who I said. Ellie is number one. All right. So Golden Retriever Life, number one. We're seeing lots of twos. Some ones, dang, it's kind of like 50-50. I'm gonna say it was slightly more Nala's maybe. All right, I'm seeing a little, I think I'm seeing a little more too. Damn, I don't know. Two, it look, it's really close, dang. And now a lot of ones, and now people are doing one and two, trying to confuse me. All right, I'm gonna say, I don't even know, that's close. Um, what's up, Abby? I feel like I just saw you pop up, but it went too fast. Man, shout out to Abby, shout out to Diane, shout out to... There you go, Abby, there I see you. Hey, thank you, Abby, for the super sticker. What is that? I don't even know. Um, thank you to everyone who's... I'm sorry, I was just showing you my hand. I'm gonna scroll in. sorry about that. Um... Guys, I used to live stream. I call it the clock app. Do you guys know what the clock app is? You have to call it the clock app because if you say the name of the app, algorithm hears it, he's promoting a different platform, boom, suppressed. So the clock app, you know, the one that goes tick, that, yeah, get it, all right, get it. Um, I used to go live over there. What's Brody's, I can't finish my sentence. What's Brody's favorite? Um, why is it not showing my super chats anymore? That's not cool. What's Brody's favorite fan interaction been? Um, thank you, Abby. Uh, Brody's favorite fan interaction. He met Rob Gronkowski. But Rob Gronkowski wasn't a fan though, so all right, I'm not counting that. Um, I mean, I have to probably go to the children's hospital. The fans of like that were at the children's hospital that were really excited to see Brody when they were coming to their unit. So I gotta go to those. I gotta go to those too. Because Brody loves making sad people smile. Um. Anyways, what was I saying? Not important. Um. All right. Can you? Can I have a pack of Celsius? Yeah. Where you live? Just don't let me ship it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't, I'm not good at shipping things. I hate going to the post office and standing in line and buying a packaged postal envelope, packing it, wrapping it, buy a stamp. That's so much work. It's just so much work. And look, I'm not lazy and I wanna give, 
But come on, just stop by, holler at me, DM me. Say, yo, I'll meet you here and I'll give you a case. Just come, meet me in person. I don't want to ship it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I don't want to ship it. But meet me in person. I'll hook you up. If you ever see me out and about, say, hey, can I get a Celsius? And I might have a case on me. I'll hit you up. I got you. Or I'll just like follow you back to the crib and I'll... Uh... What's up, Avery? Hello, Hannah. What's up, Maybell? Um... This has not been a good brushing session, buddy, on my part. And that's my fault. Where's Luna? She's right here. Um, okay. Hairy hands. Listen, I'm Italian. There's a lot of good things that come with being Italian. Lots of good things. But there's a few negative things. A negative, and I, I mean, really only one negative thing. And it's, I'm a monkey. That's, that's the only negative thing. It's, I'm a hairy man. I don't know. I used to be very... I used to get made fun of it, it made fun of, made fun for it. And like when I was in elementary school, I'd be like, mom, I need to shave my arms. You're making fun of me. The girls will make fun of me. Your arms are so hairy. Dang, PTSD. And like I would like trim my arm hair. I still every now and then like trim it a little bit um, when it's getting too unruly. But yeah, thanks for making fun of me. Thanks for body shaming me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm secure with myself now. Um, can you buy a Brody for me? You cannot. But when Brody was eight months old, someone offered me ten thousand dollars for him. Before he ever had it, before he ever made content, Brody wasn't famous. Someone offered me ten thousand dollars for Brody on the street, Brickle, Miami. I'll pay cash right now. I love this dog. He's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Sorry, sir. He's not for sale. Kick rocks is what young Breeze, young Cliff said. Um, Does Celsius have alcohol in it? No, it does not. It is just an energy drink. It is just a delicious energy drink that gets your morning started. That's it. I don't know. I don't drink. I don't drink anymore, guys. I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't drink. Um, if I even drink one glass of wine, the next morning, I, or the next day, I am so anxious. It kills me. It makes me so anxious because I don't drink anymore. So, yeah. It's wild. I saw someone say something about Boynton Beach. It went by too fast. So, you can say it again and I might catch it this time. Sorry. But Boynton Beach... We come through Boynton Beach every now and then. Oh, uh, this Brody, I'm in Boynton Beach. Can I get a pack of Celsius Arctic? Um, yeah, <laughs> you can. Um, Arctic vibe. Yeah, I have, um, I don't have any cases of Arctic vibe, but I have like 50, not 50, but like 25 in there. Um, I can give you some cans. I mean, I don't want to post my address on here, even though everybody knows where I live anyways. Guys, I get people knocking on my door probably, <clears throat> I probably say once every two weeks, I got someone new knocking on my door. So I messed up and I posted my address. I didn't, it's not even like I didn't realize I was doing, like I low key even like caught it, but I was like, it doesn't really matter. But I posted my address in like different videos and people did the math and now they show up at my door. And also when I have like my cars parked out front, that also doesn't help, like I have, a red slit like motorcycle slingshot that says Brody that dude on the side or a black Lamborghini like these are very easy spotable cars so my fault I'm moving though so you'll never find me we're, we're looking at new places be careful doing that yeah we're careful we're careful let's just say we're careful Brody keeps that thing on him. Um, two pigtails. All right, I don't have my, my other hair tie. Um, all right. Can I brush Brody real quick? Brody likes pup cups. He does. Luna likes pup cups too. All right, let's brush Brody's butt. Turn around, buddy. All right, let's brush his butt. Um, yeah. Oh man, there's a lot of stickers. Look at this. I'm gonna pull right here on the inside of his leg. See? That's all from today. Just going on a walk today. Do I know who Brody's mom is? Right there. This little girl that's sitting right next to me. That's his mom. What's up, Lauren? Moving out of Florida? No. I'll be a Florida resident probably for the rest of my life. Um, especially for tax reasons. So I would be keeping this house. 
Um, but if I move out of Florida, realistically, the only place I can see myself moving out of Florida for temporarily, meaning I stay there half the year, I stay here the other half, would be Huntington Beach or anywhere in Orange County, California, just because the weather and the beaches there are just crazy. Um, so those would be the only places in my life that, I mean, that'd be the one, that's really the only location I could see myself moving to. And like I said, I would still be a Florida resident, um, but I would be there temporarily, like, or partial, part of the year. Brush his butt, he's embarrassed. <laughs> Have you ever had a brain off moment with Brody? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Does it mean like a dumb moment? Um, the only thing that's bad about Florida, um, for our purposes, is just the weather. Like right now, it's starting to get so hot. So Brody's only like I can only take Brody like once the sun goes down. It's like the only time we can really go running. It's just like it's brutally hot. Like isn't this not enjoyable once it gets to the summer? So that's my main motivation for looking at like Huntington Beach. But I would still own a residence here and just be there part of the year. But the problem is. Luna can't fly, so that's the problem. So that's what we're trying to figure out because I don't want to drive across the country again. It is not fun with two dogs, like I mentioned. Mabel the snake, what's up? Fun fact, Mabel the snake, shout out to you. What kind of snake is it? Maybe I'll see if you, if you mess it. What, what kind of snake? I'm a guess, ball python. Or Columbia boa, what is it called? I forget. You don't understand. I used to own 13 snakes. When I was in high school, my dad wouldn't let me get a dog. I was living with my dad. He wouldn't let me get a dog. So he let me get snakes. So I got 13 snakes. I'm talking like crazy. I spent every dollar I made on snakes. And I, you have to feed them once a week too. Like that was literally what all my money went towards. And I had a YouTube channel, which still exists. I could tell you the name, but I'd have to... Uh, nah, I can't tell you the name. I have a YouTube channel. It still exists. It's me playing basketball. I used to make videos. This is back in 2008. The, the, hate, the beginning of YouTube. The dawn of YouTube. Playing basketball, like dunking. Like I used to like, me and my boys, like whatever. We, like that summer we learned how to dunk. So I made a bunch of like dunking mixes. So it was playing basketball. I'm spitting so much today. Um, I'm sorry. Playing basketball and feeding my reptiles. That was my YouTube channel. And like some of the videos got like decent views. Show Luna, she's right here. She's sleeping like a little cinnamon roll. This is what we call a cinnamon roll. When she does this, she's a toasty little cinnamon roll in the oven. She doesn't want to be disturbed. When she's in the oven, once the timer goes off and she's ready to cook or done cooking, ready to eat, we'll pop her out, we'll see what's up. But right now she's cooking and she's toasting. And we'll put icing on it. Um, anyways. So that YouTube channel exists. Um, I know the name of it and I would tell you it. I should tell, nah, I'm not gonna tell you it. Nah, I can't tell you guys it. Um, it's probably so cringe. If I watched it back, it's so cringe. Also, I get Facebook requests all the time, guys, on my personal Facebook. If you guys still use Facebook. I don't accept them because I don't use Facebook. So I haven't looked through my old Facebook from college and high school. And like, I don't even want to look through it. I know how cringe it is. And I know there's probably a thousand things in it that will get me canceled in today's day and age. So I don't feel like going through it. So I can't accept you guys because I don't know what's on there. Like, I don't, not, it's nothing bad, but it's just cringe. Cringe, 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 cringe. Um, turn him emo? All right. I want to kill my mom. Kill my dad. Hey there, Delilah. You want to do an emo hair? Let's do an emo hair. Wow, we are making good progress on these little leggies of yours, boy. All right, I'll make a meme. I'll make a meme. Hey, how you doing? Did I get S? Did you get Esther's video for him? Esther, Esther, Esther. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm sorry. Is Esther a dog? Is Esther you? I don't know. Who's Esther? I'm sorry. I'm not good with names either. You probably love his fans. I think Brody loves his fans. I'm gonna say this. As a fact that I can't really prove, I'm gonna go out and just, I'm gonna call it a fact. Brody loves his fans more than any, I hate the word influencer, 
because I'm a content creator. But what's what's Brody? Like I guess he's a pup influencer, like a pet influencer. Um, so Brody loves his fans more than any influencer loves their fans. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Any real person influencer, like they'll show love to their fans and blah blah blah. But it's you know, come on, like, let's be real. Like you're doing it. You're doing some of this for the camera. Like you're doing some like. I mean, it's possible to show love about, come on, but the way Brody lights up when someone sees him and he hugs, you can't fake that. That's genuine joy. Brody loves attention from people in general. So someone meets him and is loving on him and wants to give him a hug and is screaming his name. Brody's going crazy. His, whip, his tail's wagging a million miles an hour. Come on. Nobody loves their fans more than Brody does. Brody. Brody for president. I don't know what else. Turn him emo. All right. Um, what's a good song? Dear Maria, what's the song? How's, how's the Maria song go? How's the Maria song go? The emo Maria song? Someone say it, please. <laughs> it's bothering me. Maria. I'm mixing up like Hey There Delilah with Maria, the Maria song. Um, did you get the article I DM you on Facebook Messenger? Um, Abby, the article... I'm assuming the, um, I think I did, yes. What was it? Oh, it was the Heat game. Yeah, I did. Thank you. I saw it. I think it's AI generated. I honestly think it's AI generated the way that those articles are written. Like, it's like, a person doesn't talk like this. A person doesn't say, OMG, Brody had the craziest time of his life, LOL. Like, everything that it just does, like, this is a trained computer that is typing out articles. Just pumping them out. What are you smell, little boy? Oh, emo boy. Emo. What's the Maria song, guys? I know you guys know it. What's... This is going to bother me. I'm in love with an emo girl. Not the MGK song. I don't want to get copyright strike, but I'm looking it up. And if no one tells me it. I'm looking, I'm looking. I'm in love with the emo... No, not MGK. Ray, thank you for the, uh, Ray Mark, thank you for the super chat. All right. Or super sticker. I don't know what they're called, guys. I'm sorry. All right, I'm looking it up. I don't want to get copyright strike. I don't even know. Am I making this up? I couldn't find it. I typed in Maria and nothing popped up on Apple Music. All right, well, you know, I made a video with it. Oh, let's, let's actually do the emo cut. All right, so... So this is not, I'm in love with an emo dog. This is not the ideal length for an emo cut. The perfect length for the emo cut is probably like right here. Like when Brody's bangs were like right here was the perfect, um, perfect length for it. All right. So, cause at this length, we go into the Karen cut. Now the emo cut and the Karen cut are so close to each other. They're so close to each other. Um, and you know, it's just like, Really, it's just, it's all about the personality. Like, if you're just like, dude, it's not a phase mom. It is who I am. This is who I am. Like, lay off. Lay off, mom. That's kind of like right there. Wait, okay, let me. Like, look, that, that side, this is the emo. The side, that was like, that had 2003 in a chokehold. All right, so like that. I'm in love with an emo chick. That's that that's emo vibes, right? Am I right? This is, we're doing emo vibes right here. I think this is good emo. So now we're in emo mode, but you do one little <clears throat> you do one little part right here. You go like this, and then you go like that, and now you're going into the Karen territory. And now it's can I speak to your manager? This is very Karen vibe, right? Um so the Karen cut and the emo cut. Closely related, it takes a professional dog groomer to not uh, mix them up, but that is, I don't know the name, guys. The Maria songs are really going to bother me. The song is called Pondy? No, I don't think so. I'm going to get copyright striked if I say it. Dear Maria. Dear Maria? No, we're finding this, guys. My OCD does not allow. Oh. I got your picture coming with you, dear Maria. 
That's it. Don't copyright strike me. That song right there. You heard it? That's the song I was thinking of. It's called Dear Maria, Count Me In. I got your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria. See, now everyone's, oh, yeah, see? Who's Blondie? Everyone keeps saying, dear Maria. Carolyn, thank you. Too late, but thank you. Um, song is Blondie. Everyone's saying Blondie. I don't know what song you guys are talking about because that was a song I was talking about that I just played. I don't want any copyright strikes. I'm trying to listen to it. Oh, are you guys telling me that, that Brody looks like Blondie? Because if that's what you're saying, he does. With that cut, like that was the hairstyle that he just was. I don't know what you're telling me. I'm sorry. Car, Brody's car honking makes you laugh. We need to do another one of those soon, buddy. What are the other names I considered giving Brody? Now, Brody, I knew what it was. I knew Brody's name was going to be Brody. Before he was even born, I knew I wanted a boy dog. I wanted to go to the beach. I wanted to be a cool dude named Brody. It was going to be Brody. So I never questioned Brody. Luna, I went back and forth with him. Luna's name, her government, includes a bunch of names. Because I didn't decide on Luna. So like her, I, I was like, I don't know what I want to name her. So I'm going to give her all the names when she was a puppy when I was registering with the AKC. And I'm going to choose the one that I want to keep as her full name. Because I thought of Penny. I thought of Remy. Like Remington, Remy, like I, I was everywhere. And I was like, wow, Luna, you've never heard this name before. This is back six years ago. So 2017, 16, I don't know. You've never heard this name before. Luna is so cute. It's a quick name, original. Name him Chad. People always say that me and him are giga Chads. Um, both of us. Um, I was like, Luna, this is the best name. So cute. Ah, let's go with Luna. Now you cut forward six years and literally every single dog's name is Luna. It is the most unoriginal name in 2023. I saw a breakdown of map of most popular dog name by state and Luna was like 90% of the map. So, Uwu? Uh, that doesn't apply to me. Uh, can you do an Uwu cut, Brody? What does that look like? Put in his man bun? All right. Why did you choose Brody as his name? So I was a, I still am a huge Russell Westbrook fan. If you don't know that, you know, Russell Westbrook, his nickname is Brody. Um, but Brody was like in term of endearment, like, you know, people were using Brody back then. I think Brody as like, bro, like, what's up, Brody? Like, nah, Brody, like, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. Um, but back then, Brody was like in the term of endearment between guys usually. What's up, Brody? Um, so it was like a good name. It was like, it meant that, Russell Westbrook, my favorite basketball player. And like, I just like the vibe of it. I was just like, I want a dog that can encompass the name Brody. And I could have had a dog that didn't, but for some reason, Brody uh, fit into the name Brody. Sus. Brody just fit into the name Brody perfectly though. It was just, it was just meant to be. Um, Cliff, can you do a man bun? I just, I mean, this is more of a palm tree. That's more of the palm tree. Sing Luna a song. I don't know if I feel like singing. I'm not a very good singer. Even though I just gave you guys some emo stuff. Um, all right, let's finish brushing his butt. Brody Bear Brush is his full name. Brody Bear Brush. What's your favorite NHL team? Um, I mean, Panthers. Then, you know, I was born and raised in South Florida, so Panthers. Messi, Ronaldo. I mean, you gotta go Messi now. Um, where's F1 Center Golden Doodle? What's a red flag? What I, what I do? What's a red flag? Oh no. Don't red flag me. Red flag, Brody. We got a lot of them. How do you keep his hair so fluffy? Like this, you brush a lot, you get groomed a lot, you never shave them down, and good genetics. A flag. Where do you see a flag? Um, green collar is the chosen one. Wow. You're a real one. 
you're a real one if you know that. Brody was green collar in his litter. In my first litter, I just called them by the color of their collar. So Brody was green collar. The chosen one. The chosen flu. Favorite creek. Um, I, the thing I really, I've only been feeding for six months is um, spot and tango, sweet potato, like, they're like these dried sweet potato stuff. Because anything else can like get Brody's stomach messed up, but the sweet potato stuff is like really good. Like doesn't mess his stomach up and they like him a lot. And they don't smell or anything. What country did you find Brody? That's Brody's mother, and he was born in the United States of America. Would I ever cut Brody's hair? No, 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 no. Never. I actually thought about, a while back, I thought about giving Brody a lion cut before he got, like, lots of followers and stuff. Like, this is a backpack. Um, does Brody wear underwear? No. <laughs> Can I put a man bun on myself? My hair's not long enough. I was growing out matching. I was going to do this big race for charity, the Trek 100. Um, it was in Wisconsin. It was going to be me and Brody. And I was growing out a mullet, and I was going to get Brody a matching mullet if we raised a certain amount of money. But then the pandemic happened, and the whole event got canceled. So I cut my mullet off. And I mean, it wasn't that long, but I still was growing out. If you go back to my old videos, you can see. Um, I never shaved Brody completely. If you shave your golden doodle down, this is still like a puppy coat. This is like a fluffy puppy coat. If you shave him down, every time you shave him down, the hair grows back coarser and curlier. So if you want to grow it out nice and fluffy, like big dog bro bro, you got to not shave him down. More slow-mo clips of Brody. We're working on it. I tried to film. It's been a while. I used to go viral all the time with Brody slow-mo stuff. I haven't posted it in so long. So I was trying to film one last week, but he just wasn't cooperating properly. Um, that was like literally 50% of the content I used to make was slow-mo stuff. So that's that's gonna make a comeback for sure. We'll add that, add that to the rotation. I love you guys. I love you. We love you. We love everybody, especially our YouTube friends, the YouTube bromies, the YouTube uh, lunatics. Um, more Luna content, Abby? Well, I try. I try my best, guys. Luna can't be forced to make content, though. It's, if she's going to make the content, she's going to make it. She'll be bad, and, uh, but I can't force her to make content because she's not a cooperative lassie. Here, you want to see Brody sit? Here, you guys can ask Brody three questions here. Can I create a Brody jerky company? Brody beef, Brody bites, Brody bites, um, that would be fun. And there is a dog-friendly jerky company. And like, I could just like license their formulas and stuff. Because Brody tried it and he liked it. So, hold on. That's my boy Brody. What do we do? Oh, your hair tie is a little too tight. This eye is getting a little pulled back. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Messy bun, but hola from Mexico. Hola, hola, hola. Does Brody have a girlfriend? No, no, no. We were talking about that earlier. He's single right now. Messy or not? Messy. Small Brody is the best. Yeah, we got to get a couple of those out. Do we have Brody merch? So we have, if you, yeah, if you go to my Instagram. <coughs> Can't say platforms. Can't say anything. You heard what I just said, right? That platform. <clears throat> you can't say competitor's name on YouTube, but that competitor, you go to that competitor and you look at the link in my bio. Actually, it's in my, I think it's in YouTube bio. I don't really know how YouTube bios work, but there's a Teespring store where Brody has some stuff, but we need to revamp it. We need to come harder. We need to come better. We need to come cleaner. We need the newer logos. We need the, the freshest fits. We need it better, fresher. We need it. We, I'm work, I gotta work on it. I don't know. I don't push it. I got it there. Oh, oh, little lad is tired. Are we done, buddy? Are we done? Go, put your head there. There you go. Rest on Papa. It's okay. I'm going to rock him to bed. He's going to go to bed. Oh, no. Um. I should get Brody and Luna Croc Charms. That'd be cool. 
Bernie's all-time favorite treat is beef jerky. Is, or like, if we're not talking about steak and burger, that's like food. So I'm going to treat, like beef jerky, dog treat, um, spot and tango. He's been eating, he's been loving the spot and tango, sweet potato bites. But I'm sure he would probably, actually it's not true. He doesn't love anything I give him. There's a lot of treats he doesn't like. He doesn't like salty, really salty things, which is weird because he loves beef jerky, but like a french fry, he won't eat. Brody, come here. Usually he won't eat if they're too salty. <sighs> Favorite hobbies, like me or Brody or both of us, or I mean, I go to the gym every day. Um, my life consists of these things. Going to the gym, filming content, editing content. Editing content takes up too much of my life. I need to get an editor. Editing content, filming content, um, going to the beach, playing with my dogs, riding my bike with my dogs, and riding, driving cars. I'm starting to get into cars now. I used to never be a car guy, but really getting into cars lately. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's it. And then also, I listen to lots of podcasts. I listen to like hours of podcasts a day. Usually when I'm doing stuff, it's got them going on. So learning, I don't want to sound like a nerd, but learning, I guess. I watch documentaries. I've been watching, I've been watching like documentaries on the cosmos and like the universe. And it is just, it's mind blowing. I don't want to sound like a nerd and go on about this. Like I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, but it is something that makes you feel very insignificant. It makes you realize how limited just little time on earth you have. So don't worry about all the stupid stuff. Like there's so many things I used to worry about. Like, don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. If you zoom out a thousand miles, none of this matters. It all doesn't matter. That's the point. It all doesn't, I spit so much. I don't care. Cause it all doesn't matter. None of it matters. I should make Brody energy drink. I've been down for Celsius flavor. It all doesn't matter. That's the point. And when you watch this, like these, these, these documentaries just show you how minuscule the earth is in comparison to the galaxy and the rest of the universe. It's just, it's like kind of depressing, but it's kind of like, okay, freeing. None of it matters. Do that, do that thing. Take that chance. All right, motivational cliff right now. No, you guys don't like that. People don't like that. People don't like when I get into my, my motivational speaking, uh, quit your job. Do that thing, travel the world, take your dog. They don't like that. So I'm gonna keep it to myself, but that's what I'm thinking. Um, Bird's favorite sport is basketball. He was just at the Heat game uh, a couple weeks ago. He had a blast. Brody, can you stand up, sir, so that people can see you maybe? You tired? Are you tired? Or, or you... Oh, you guys didn't eat dinner yet. You guys wanna eat dinner? Ooh. <laughs> I knew this one wanted dinner. I knew this one wanted dinner. Um, have I modified the Bromobile? All right, so technically we have two Bromobiles. Um, the Slingshot and the Yuris. So Brody has two Bromobiles. Um, neither are modified. I gotta, I'm keeping the, the Yuris factory, to be honest, because um, anything you do to it kills warranty and kills uh, resale value. Um, and the Slingshot, I don't really care about that that much at this point, like it's just fun especially for Luna. She's, she's starting to get used to it. You guys want, should we feed him dinner or no? Yes or no? <laughs> you want dinner, Luna? Come over here if you want dinner. Dang. At least Brody will come. You want dinner? Whoever, whoever touches me gets dinner. Whoever touches my hand gets dinner. Touch my hand if you want dinner. Come here, touch my hand if you want dinner. Touch my hand. Come here. Yeah. Come on in, buddy. You want dinner? Okay, he gets dinner. Luna. Let's go feed, what, should we go feed him dinner? Does he ever bite or growl? No, never. All right, let's go get him dinner. Here's some of the stuff I brushed out of him. All right, let's go dinner. Come with me, guys. Let's go get dinner. Luna's already walking. I'm gonna show you guys the Luna tricks. I'm gonna show you guys how good Luna is. You guys are gonna be surprised. When it comes to food, Luna does not play. All right, Luna. Let's show them. Oh, sneak peek. Sneak peek of the video I'm working on right now. What's that for, Brody? You wanna tell them? You wanna tell them? My counter's usually not a mess. It's usually not a mess, but this is all from that. Shout out Celsius, more Celsius stuff. 
They actually sent this really cool jacket. It's like a letterman, like a varsity letterman. I mean, people are like, why does he have an apple and a cherry logo on the side? Otherwise, it's really cool. Besides the apple cherry logo, I was really feeling it. All right, everyone, let's eat some dinner, yeah? I only want good dogs. Only good dogs get dinner. So if you're not good, don't even show up to dinner. I'm sorry if you guys are getting dizzy. I'm just trying to adjust this. All right. Who wants dinner? All right. Luna, I know you want dinner. Go over there. Ooh, tomorrow. Wow, I might get in trouble for this. What time is it? Nine, it's 10 o'clock. I could get in trouble for this. Hey, it's better to ask for forgiveness. That's what I always say. It's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. If you're a kid and you hear that, no. Don't listen. All right, so, all right, I'm going to show you guys a grand reveal. I could, I, I could literally get in trouble for this, um, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. All right, let's clear it out. Um, all right, so, as you guys know, Brody is, and Luna, Guys, let's stay in frame, all right? Everyone sit, please. Everybody sit if we want dinner. If we don't want dinner, don't sit. But we're going to have to really act right if we want, if we want to uh, impress our YouTube friends. So everybody sit. That's a good girl. Brody's sometimes a little slow. He, he hears things on a little delay. Brody, sit. Sometimes you got to ask him twice. Those are good dogs. Those are a good little lassie and a good lad. Now we're gonna fill up their cup. All right, so as you guys know, whatever. I'm gonna show it real fast so I can't get in trouble. Hey, what the fur, Brody, Brody, Brody. Hey, you guys remember I was talking about the cameraman who always does typos in all my videos? That's what the fern. So right there, go sub to him and watch him on his content creator journey, which he is trying to explore. All right, guys, I'm gonna show this really quick so I don't get in trouble, all right? Really quick, so I don't get in trouble. This is Spot and Tango, all right? Partnered with them for a long time, we love them. This is Brody's food. Now, as you guys can see, this packaging like is not that amazing. Let's call it plain, a little boring, Plain, nothing innovative, but Brody was like, yo, if I'm representing this company, we're gonna have to come with a little bit of a rebrand, which launches tomorrow. This is not like planned at all, guys. It just so happens to be launching tomorrow, and I so have to be live right now, but I swear to God, this is not planned. Um, but, so I don't even know if I'm allowed to show you guys this, I'm, I'm like 90% sure it's tomorrow. It does, it launches tomorrow. So Brody was like, yo, put me on the bag. I want to be on the bag. And they were like, no. So we're like, all right, never mind. <laughs> but put a dog that looks a lot like Brody if like a fifth grader drew him on the bag. And they were like, yeah, we could do that. So real quick, showing it real quick. Screenshot ready if you, if you want to try and catch it. But it's going to go by fast. Ready? Is it Brody? Is it not? I think it is. There's Brody on the spot in Tango Bag coming tomorrow. And uh, I might get dropped by them because I was not supposed to show that. Um, but it doesn't matter. All right, I know they're hungry. Let's go. All right, everybody to your spots, please. Now, we're going to fill Brody's food up first because he is less savage than Luna. Um, so, as you can see, all right, Brody gets four scoops. But he has four scoops. As you can see, Luna, can you please let the people watch? Luna has to just sit and monitor every single scoop that goes into any single bowl in this house to make sure she can make a, take a tax on it. Brody, I don't think I said we should eat yet, though, you know? Hey, Bubba. Brody, wait, sit. Everyone sit. Luna, that means you too. Sit. That's a good boy. Sit, Luna. Good girl. Now this is the part that's really hard for Luna. It's when you're filling her bowl up, she has to put her face right in the bowl. But I'm gonna show you guys. You're gonna be surprised how good Luna is when it comes to tricks and stuff. Now Luna gets three scoops. All right? No. I know you have to monitor it with your nose right there. 
but please wait. Okay. No, don't eat yet. Please sit down. Thank you for being so great and so good and so beautiful too. You really are a pretty, pretty girl, Luna. I don't just say that because you're my daughter. I say that because I really think you're pretty. But listen, I want to show everybody on YouTube how good of a girl you are because they don't believe it. They only see the bad stuff that you do all the time, every day. Um, I want to show them the good stuff. So let's wait. I didn't ask for anything yet. Let's. I know I was going to ask her prayers. Let's say your prayers. Oh, 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 hold my hands. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Prayers, please. Okay, okay. Bow your head. Say your prayers. Okay, well, we're not done yet. Um, can you sit for me? We're done with the prayers. I'm not, I didn't ask for rollover. Look at her. No, Luna. No, no, no. Luna, you're having a panic attack. Can you? Luna, Luna. <gasps> Luna, wait, stay in frame so I can get this on camera, please. You're drooling, my little lassie. Can you lay down? Wait, no, 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 lay down, lay down, lay down. I just want you to do two tricks. You're drooling, baby. Lay down, down. Now roll over. Let's not really roll over. You're just spinning in circles. All right, go eat, go eat, go eat. And you, buddy, you always wait. Bad boy. Brody. You finished your food. You finished your food. You saw, much, you saw much food I put in this bowl. You, the kid is eating. He's eating good. That's why he's gaining weight. Um, Luna's a crazy girl. Luna's hungry. You would think that she's starving. She literally does that for every meal. Or she does that for any treat during the day. This is not like she's been like food deprived. This is just how she's always been. Like she's just so highly food motivated, it's actually insane. Brody knocked out the food. That's, I mean, that's, there's an advertisement right there for Spot and Tango. Use code Brody50 for 50% off if you want to try it for your dog. And like, look, I mean, Luna, can I see, can I have some? Can I have one? Can I take one? Is there any left? Can I show them? Let me show them. I'm not gonna steal it. I just want to show them. All right, okay, Luna. Can I sh Gone. And she has a slow feeder bowl too, which obviously doesn't work at all. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they actually love it. We only, you know, this isn't, as the kids say, we're not capping. Um, and like I said, use code Brody50 for 50% off if you'd like to try it for your dog. Luna is on the cotton salmon flavor, and Brody, I'm showing you the old bag so I don't get fired from Spot and Tango, it's on the beef and barley flavor. Um, and they both love it. And they also have a chicken recipe flavor as well. Wow, guys, that was a fast dinner. Well, what do you say? What's next, guys? You love all the shorts. We really appreciate that. Um, I guess that's it, huh? What a good live. I'm so happy we did this. Luna, you got anything to say, Missy? Do they bark? Yeah. I mean, I, I can do it for you. So if I knock right here, Brody will bark. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, he didn't do it. All right, one more time. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Who's at the door? <laughs> Even though you just watched me knock on the door. You just watched me knock on the wall. You're easily fooled sometimes, buddy. It's okay. We still love you. Um, all right, guys. Sweet. Yeah. Over and out. We're done here. Now, real quick, real quick. Can everyone press the like button? I don't know what it does still, but let's see. Everyone press the like button. I love you. I appreciate you. Go follow us on all our other platforms because we post unique content on each platform. Like today we posted something on YouTube Shorts that we didn't post anywhere else, but we posted something on Instagram that we didn't post, or no, on Facebook, they didn't post anywhere else. And we post something on IG, they didn't post anywhere else. So we posted everything everywhere um, differently sometimes and, you know, stories and stuff like that. So uh, stories are the only way I can really tell you guys where we're going to be. But like I said, we're going to be in Austin, Texas, 9th through 11th. We're going to be in LA, the 11th through the 15th or the 16th. We're going to be at Universal Studios. We're going to go do um, Access Hollywood with Mario Lopez. Brody's going to meet Mario Lopez. Are you excited for that, buddy? I'm super excited. We're going to be in the Gold Pet Expo in 22nd through 23rd of March. 
in Orlando, Florida. We're going to be in Vegas the end of April, and we're going to be in Aspen in June, and we're going to be at the GoPro Mountain Games in Vail also in June. And we got so much more coming, guys, and that's just what I have confirmed because we might be in Puerto Rico in August. We might be here. We might be there. We might be anywhere, but you might get to meet Brody. You might give him a hug and get to feel him in real life, IRL. And um, all right, guys, thank you so much. You want to say bye, Luna? Should we post this? I'll post this. I will post this to uh, my YouTube channel. I'm really dragging this goodbye out. Bye. <coughs> Getting choked up. I don't want to say bye. Bye, everyone. Love you. Okay, and we are done.